Hi, I'm Alice McMillan Lockridge, and we're here today at Fairview Park Cemetery in St. John, Kansas. We're standing in front of the Shepherd Mausoleum. This is the family burial of uh, a family that was early settlers in St. John. And if you step forward here and look inside, you'll see that there are seven stones and seven people buried here. It all starts with the story of O.B. Shepherd. Orville was a mayor of St. John. He was three times the, uh, ran for office three times, and during his third uh, time in office, he was in his car driving with his wife. In those days, it was a Model T touring car. And they were driving to Maxville with Millie and her sister. So Millie was, um, her last name was All, her real name was Permelia, and her sister was my great aunt. And they were on their way to Maxville in their touring car when all of a sudden Millie noticed that their car was getting awfully close to the side of the road. And like lots of wives helping husbands drive, she said, oh honey, you're too close, move over. And he didn't, and she said, move over, and he didn't. And when she turned to look at him, she noticed that he was dead across the steering wheel. So the mayor of St. John died on the way to Maxville in a car that was moving and nobody else in the car, as I understand it, knew how to drive. And so they had to find out, figure out how to stop the car while he was in the way, get out of the car, get him in the back seat. And Millie and uh, her sister got and figured out how to get back to St. John with the car and got him to the office of the doctor and found out he was dead. So they uh, had two sons, which are buried beside their father. Claude married Nellie, and Don married Eva, and they are entombed here too. The first one of the family to die died in 1906, and it was Claude and Nellie's daughter. She died at about a year old. She was crawling around in the house and got into some strychnine and was poisoned and died. So uh, she was probably buried someplace else. And then after Orville died and the family bought this center plot on the highest point in the cemetery area and built this mausoleum to house their family, then they were the first two here. So if you come by, peek in the windows like I have done my whole life and uh, see where they're buried and you can look at the flowers that now sit to honor them. So my cousin Judy Webster Miller and I met here a few years ago and peeked in the window like we always do and lots of people have grown up doing. And it was in disarray and their family hadn't been here for a while and we said the magic words. Somebody ought to do something about this. And we figured we were somebody, so we decided to take over ownership of this section and take care of it as long as we can. And we hope that you'll all come by and visit the Shepherds and know the history and enjoy a visit to the Fairview Park Cemetery in St. John.